Folks, it's your last chance to check out the South Florida Fair oh, this week All and this good weekend. things come to an end, mm -hmm. right? T.A. Walker, back out there this morning, shining a light. T.A., when you think of the fair, you might think of the food, the rides. There's a lot of education mm -hmm. and, you know, really hands-on experiences, too. Yeah. Uh, really groundbreaking uh, education researched by the FAU Harbor Branch. We're here with them at their humpback whale exhibit. This is the size of an actual humpback whale that they have on display inside the Expo Center. It's their first bilingual uh, uh, exhibition. And Gabby's here. And Gabby, tell us about your ex exhibition. Well, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we um, are with Florida Atlantic University's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute, and we are scientists and educators that are working on humpback whales like the one you see behind you. Um, and we're here today to teach the general public about these amazing animals that live in Florida. A lot of people don't realize that humpback whales live in Florida. I had no clue. I said to you, why is there a whale exhibit here? And you're like, well, they actually come down here to, it's like their nursery. They do. So they're in Florida every December through March, um, and this is their nursery and breeding ground. So they're actually Floridians like us, and they're incredible marine They're snowbirds. Animals. Let's just be, like, realistic. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go move on down, and I want to talk to Laura. Laura, uh, there's some really interesting anatomy pieces to humpback whales. That's correct. They have really interesting anatomy. They are mammals, just like us, so there's some similarities, but also some differences. For example, instead of teeth, they have something called baleen. This Ooh. is made out of keratin, the same stuff that our fingernails and hair are made out of. And these well, little, your hair, not mine. <laughs> um, these little fibers help them collect their favorite foods out of the ocean, which include krill, or teeny tiny shrimp, and fish. Because they're th their throats aren't that big, right? That's correct. Their throat's only as wide as a grapefruit, so they can't swallow anything very large. That is really crazy. Yeah. Let's keep coming down the humpback whale over here at the Expo Center. I just went, you can actually go inside this thing. Uh, <laughs> Joey, you have some fun activities for the kids, right? Yeah, of course. So um, not only can you visit us, but you can also download some curriculum from online. Don't say curriculum. That sounds like homework. <laughs> you have some fun cartoon stuff. Yes, we do. <laughs> we do have some fun cartoon, cartoon stuff, so you can do some worksheets. You can draw your own tail. Um, you can also label some outside anatomy um, and we have some inside anatomy as well. That's awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. They're going to be here till Sunday and Ashley and Mike, uh, Saturday is actually WPTV day here yeah. at the South Florida Fair and uh, there's going to be a parade at one o'clock. I'm going to be on the float so come wave and say hi to us please. You've been practicing <laughs> that wave all morning. I know. Right. You're nailing it TA. Thank you.